Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I am back with a new crock pot cooking video for some stuffed pepper soup. So I just pretty recently did a stuffed pepper recipe. Um, and I think in that video I had mentioned about stuffed pepper soup, which as you can probably guess is all the flavors of stuffed peppers in a soup form. FYI, this soup freezes extremely well. Um, I actually hope to do a big batch of this uh, next month for a freezer meal um, and then freeze, you know, a good amount of it. Uh, but this particular time that I'm filming this, I'm actually doing a smaller batch for uh, some lunches for the week for myself. And also I want to be able to give my husband some to bring to lunch one or two days this week. Uh, so this is a smaller batch. When I do my freezer meal batch, I'll do a double batch, so I would do double this. Uh, but again, it's all the flavors of stuffed peppers in a crock pot soup. And today is a Sunday when I'm happy to be filming this for my food prep for the week. So I thought I would share it. Um, for this batch, I am using a pound of ground beef. You could use ground turkey, but I highly recommend beef uh, if you're looking for that classic kind of stuffed pepper flavor. Of course, you're going to need peppers and onions. I actually prepped these last night when I was um, making something else. So I've got two like medium-sized green bell peppers and a small white onion that I have diced up ready to go. You're going to need a can of tomato sauce, a can of diced tomatoes, some beef broth. I'm going to use about half of this. Some Worcestershire sauce. I use the reduced sodium one. Some garlic, some brown sugar salt and pepper, some white rice. I'll just cook this up later because you don't add the rice until the last half hour. Uh, some parm cheese to put on the top, so we're not gonna add this until the soup is done. And that is it. So I'm gonna go ahead, get my beef ground up, or excuse me, sauteed up. I'm gonna drain all the fat, if there is any, and get everything into the crock pot and show you guys how easy this one is. All right guys, so my ground beef is cooked and drained. There was a little bit of fat that came off it. So I'm gonna show you now how easy this is. It's literally just dump it, stir it, set it and forget it. It's really, really easy. So first I'm gonna go ahead and get my green pepper and my onion. And again, I did this um, last night. So that's why that was prepped and ready to go. So if you do have the time, um, definitely go ahead and prep whatever you can. Next, I'm gonna get in my tomato sauce, standard size can, my diced tomatoes. I'm gonna do a heaping tablespoon of brown sugar that actually cuts the acidity. I'm gonna do a little bit more because I like the brown sugar in here. And the sugar will cut the acidity. I'm gonna do a nice splash of the reduced sodium uh, Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna do a he two heaping teaspoons of garlic. We love garlic. I am gonna add a little bit of water, about a half cup. And then my salt and pepper. And again, uh, if you're new here, I type everything up down below in all my cooking videos. So no need to freak out. Everything will be typed up down below. And then I'm going to go ahead and add about half of this 32 ounce container of beef broth. I just gave it a nice shake. That's roughly half. Let me just go ahead and stir it. And this will cook on low for seven hours um, total. At about six and a half hours, guys, I'm going to go ahead and add the rice in. I think I'm going to do a little bit more broth. I don't think I quite got half in there. Um, because the rice is going to absorb some of the liquid, so that's why you don't want to add the rice right now. Um, and it's not a whole lot of rice that you're going to add, and I'll show you guys that later. So I'm going to stir this up really nice. You want everything to get combined, and especially the salt and pepper and garlic and everything. You want everything to get well combined. And that brown sugar is very important because, again, you want it to cut that tomato acidity. So that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead now, get my lid on. I'm gonna set this for six and a half hours on low, and I will see you guys at the six and a half hour mark when I add the rice, and then we bring it all together, because the rice you're gonna put leave in there for about 20 to 30 minutes, and it's gonna be perfect, but I'll see you guys a bit later. Okay, rice is in, so I'm just gonna break it up a little bit, stir it up, and the rice is gonna absorb some of the liquid. 
and you definitely want to put the rice in cooked. So I'm going to stir it up. It smells really good. Perfect. And I'm going to go ahead, let the uh, put the top back on, let this do its thing for about 20-25 minutes, and then I'm going to plate it up and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so the soup is all done. See how it thickened up nicely with the rice in there? I actually have a little bowl here to give you a closer view. I did put some parm cheese on top because that's what I would use for the garnish. And I'm just gonna let this cool down and I'll have it um, for my food prep for the week. But I wanted to show you guys the recipe because a bunch of you guys asked on my regular stuffed pepper recipe. So I hope you'll give this one a try. It's really, really easy. And again, like I mentioned, it freezes really well. I'll type everything up down below and hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.